Hello guys, my name is DAG Studios and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new comic book that we've been given, Defender of the Daleks Volume 2. So I've had this really strange thing in my area about posting stuff um, and it seems to take ages to get here. Um, the, it's been in the postal system for nine days for some reason um, and our post in my area also doesn't arrive on Mondays most of the time for some reason. Um, so hopefully there's nothing urgent coming in on a Monday. First thing I noticed about this thing is that it feels a lot weightier than the first issue does. Um, it feels a lot thicker and there's definitely a lot more to it. You know, the first one did feel like the the, the first uh, third and then this seems to be the second two thirds. Let's talk first about the artwork and the writing of it. I think the writing is really good and I think the artwork is really good most of the time. I do have a minor criticism that is I feel like the Doctor always looks a bit different from each image, from one image to the other, whether his head looks bigger, things like that. It can be quite weird, but it's a, more of a nick pick than anything else. The artwork in this is lovely though, like the backgrounds and the, the colorization on Daleks and things like that look amazing. You know, the environments that they, they're in look amazing. In the first one there was a lot of space shots and I really loved the space shots in the second one as well. Um, some really lovely images with explosions and stuff with Daleks everywhere. My other criticism with the story is I feel like it really didn't matter in the grand scheme of time or Victorious. There is nothing in here that really makes me feel like I've reached the dark times. I feel like I'm just reading an episode of Doctor Who. Sure, the episode is good and things like that, but it's nothing that is really... You know, you've written Time of Victorious all over it, but you haven't really challenged the, the model of the Doctor, which is what Time of Victorious is all about. I was expecting a scene when he gets more angry or a bit more ruthless than he normally is, and no, he's actually quite nice and compassionate throughout the entire thing. I think there's a bit of shoehorning in towards the end. I don't want to spoil it, but I do feel like that's kind of shoehorned in a bit. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you are new. I know this video has been a bit shorter than the other ones, and I'm not even quite sure whether people are actually going to watch this because it has been a good two weeks now since the thing came out. But... I wanted to talk about it because I'm a bit of a completionist and I wanted to, you know, I've talked about one, so let's talk about two. Before I end the video, um, I just wanted to say that I now have a TikTok. Um, I'm going to use it to talk about films and television shows individually that I normally wouldn't talk about. So things such as Star Trek Discovery that I don't review on here because I don't feel like I have a very good knowledge of Star Trek um, to do it and... I never have that much to say about each episode. I'm going to do it on there and I'm going to do it within a minute and, you know, a minute, 30 seconds. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give a like, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you soon.